Hey, I can give them to you. <laughs> All blinged out. <clears throat> wow. All right, let's get started with this press conference. For today's Duck Commander 500, we have seven members of the Robertson family in honorary positions. We have three of them, four, four of them with us today. Jace will do the top ten driver intros. Sadie will do the invocation. National Anthem by Missy. Uncle Cy. Stylin, in the, he, he will do the command today. Jep will ride shotgun in one of the pace cars. Phil will do the green flag. Willie and Corey will do the trophy presentation to the winner in victory lane. Thanks for joining us. I guess we'll start with Willie and Corey. Um, just tell us how this business venture has gone thus far. I know the weather's not uh, cooperating with us, but undertaking a title sponsorship for a NASCAR Sprint Cup race. Well, the problem is when you put Duck Commander on something, it starts turning into duck hunting weather. So uh, I think those two go hand in hand. Got a little chilly in the rain, but uh, no, it's fine. This has been incredible. Uh, we were proud to, to put our brand, uh, especially over here in this area. It's been a great area for us. Um, uh, it's close to home, and um, you know our brand says more than just duck hunting. It says family and being positive, and uh, you know a lot of things that we see in NASCAR as well. It's a family sport, and um, we're tickled to have our brand associated with it. When we were driving up, we we got a big party bus for the whole family because you know we travel in packs. So we're driving up, and Phil goes, "The things Willie gets us into." <laughs> <laughs> And we see the big Duck Commander logo, and he, I think he's pretty proud. He has not seen the whole track yet, so um, we're saving that. I didn't show him a picture or anything, so he can see it and be surprised by it. I think he'll be pretty proud. Willie, how many family members are here and relatives? Oh, my goodness. Uh, most of them. Um, Dozens. Yeah, we've got, <laughs> I don't know, 30, probably 30 or 40, 40, yeah. 30 or 40. All the kids are here. Everybody's here. And some extras. Some bearded people may have slipped in there. <laughs> Claiming they were kin. Jeff, you're going to be in the pace car. Have you been around the track yet? Yeah, uh, and, uh, I have. And probably the scariest moment of my life was when Clint Boyer took me around in the pace car, and I think he had that thing redlined. Um, and he was laughing because I was almost crying. So hopefully we won't be going that fast today. Are you looking forward to having the 43 car field behind you, all that horsepower, uh, the excitement of the, the crowd, and, and just a very unique yes. experience? I can't wait, man. I think I got the coolest um, gig out of this whole deal. So, Are you doing anything? I'm riding the pace car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Suits you well. And we have Elvis to our far right. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, I tried to talk them, let me drive a duck command in the car, but they won't do it. Did you talk to Eddie Gossage? He'll make I, it happen. I, I told him, I, I, I'll win this thing if you let me drive it. <laughs> <laughs> we told him if he could figure out how to open the door, he could drive it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you know my motto, you crank it, I drive it. <laughs> Uncle Cy will do the command, as we mentioned earlier. Do you have something unique for us for that command, or are you going to keep it secret? Well, or? if y'all let me, yes, I do. All right. I'm going to keep it very simple. Three simple steps. Okay, number one is, okay, drivers to your car. Number two is, all right, you knuckleheads, get in them. All right, number three, gentlemen, start your engines. I like it. And with that, we'll open for questions. Let's in front. Uh, Uncle Cy, uh, in the Duck Commander family book that Willie Cordell, they said you were a little hesitant to be a part of the show. Do you look back on that now and kind of laugh at uh, being a president? No, that's the funniest thing, okay? Look, I was supposed to be kind of like a uh, occasional walk-on, okay? And Willie kept telling A&E, &E, hey, now, look, y'all don't need to make these big decisions. You hadn't even met him, okay? Wait till you meet him and then make the decision. Look, I found out like three months later, my wife said, did you know how, what happened? And I said, what are you talking about? About the show and why you're the star. And I said, no, what happened? She said, look. They took them pilot series and they gave them to like 50 people. They got out. That's what all these people do, okay? They sit in and they watch things and they either give them this or this, you know? And she said, well, the 50 people watched the pilot series and they all was in agreement, okay, that that crazy looking one wearing glasses is going to be the star of the show. <laughs> you know, and I said, I said, where did you hear this? I said, did you make this up? 
I said, I thought I was the storyteller in the family. Did you make this junk up? She said, look, that's what I heard. Thank you. Did you talk about your iced tea? Well, we had people come up all the time saying, look, hey, you ought to, I got a bright idea for you. I said, what is it? I said, man, you ought to get a tea deal. And I said, well, uh, trust me, you know, Willie and Corey are working on that as we speak. <laughs> You know, so it took about, what, two years? Mm -hmm. About two years before this come to fruitation. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get it right. Oh, well, look, perfect. the reason I say that, I've got fruitation. one. Hey, I haven't drank it yet, okay? It's peach flavored. <laughs> Fruitation. Fruitation. That's fruitation. I think, right. we just, I think we just found the new flavor. Right. Look, yeah. Sal always makes uh, sense in his own mind. Hey, look, hey, if you want the English part, yeah, you got to talk to Phil. He's the English major. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we um we really did. We took a lot of time on this because we knew we wanted it to be good and we wanted it to be right. And um, the Robertson family, Sa is obviously the most notable tea drinker in the family. He carries a jug with him everywhere he goes and drinks tea. All day. How, how much tea do you drink in a day? Two I, I drank two gallons. Look, I yes. keep telling these people, okay? I'm like a fine-tuned race car, okay? You go out there and run 50 laps and, hey, just like a race car, okay, you got to pull in for a pit stop every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's talk about your race suit for a second now. How was that inspired and honestly you have anybody? <coughs> that... I, you would have to ask the ladies there that made this, okay? You'd have to ask her, okay? All I told, I was told, okay, you know, it's Wednesday night. I'm fixing to go to church, you know, and they say, hey, look, after church, you need to try stop by over there and try on your costume. So I walk in, and as soon as I walk in, I see this thing, and I start busting out laughing and shaking my head. And she said, oh, I ain't even got it. You know, this is just a, a, a start of it, okay? You know, I've got to finish it. You know, I've got to put this on it, this on it, ducks on it, names on it, you know. So this is the final product. You got to give us a mop. You got to stand yeah, up. Give okay. Give us a as soon as he put hey, it on, dance, he started huh? dancing. There you go. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Willie, we mentioned the iced tea. Um, it's part of the unique sponsorship for the Duff Commander 500 with two other sponsors. Do you want to explain the unique sponsorship and how it came about with the other sponsors as well? Yeah, we were able to team up. Um, obviously, we wanted to launch the, the tea here. This was a great place to, to launch it and a good place. And uh, also with Clayton Holmes, um, who we've been with uh, for a while, and then uh, also Line X uh, Liners as well with the new Commander Series trucks. Um, so that's kind of stuff that we're into, and um, yeah, it was great to be able to put this together with these partners, and uh, it's been going great, and uh, we've had a lot of great response from that as well, and uh, uh, the Linux trucks, uh, I think, parked right outside, uh, and it looks really good, and um, we, we've got, we've been over in the Clayton Homes as well, uh, hanging out in there. It's been our home away from home. Yeah, we've been here, And it even has a little dog washing station. We love it. It's so cute. It, it really looks great, and we're really proud to partner with, with the sponsors that we've um, partnered with here at the race. So I, was, so I was the only guy I know that t tore his house down and, and put a Clayton home where that his house was. Well, That's hey, a true story. No, I've, I've got <laughs> two of them, okay, and I've enjoyed both of them. I lived in the first one while they was putting the second one up. <laughs> <laughs> now that's big time in there. Next question. Yeah, have you, have you seen that uh, women around America can relate to you having husbands that are into the whole outdoors and growing their beards out? I mean, what has your response been as a wife? Yeah, I think so. I think that um, people ask us, you know, what do you do during hunting season? And we go shopping and sleep in and all that. People ask us about how we control our husbands, and we say we don't. There's no way. I was like, I'm not his mama. He's got a mama. So, um, yeah, we, um, you see a lot of their shenanigans on the show, and um, I can tell you being a Robertson wife is never boring. They keep, they keep it interesting. He's just embarrassed he doesn't have a beard. So. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> Next question in front. Mia's Mia's, here, yeah. yeah, she's yes, here. She she's doing great. She's been cleared of, she didn't, was not able to eat <coughs> solid foods for two months. 
And um, but she did so good, and she's totally healed. The doctor said everything went perfectly, and she's here running around just like like yep. she always was. We had a, we had a party for her. Yeah, we, and she ate twenty seven uh, chicken nuggets, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and I gotta ask because, of course, I'm a, I'm a wrestling aficionado anyway. So <laughs> to have Axel Jim Duggan show up in Louisiana, where he yes. got to start with Mid South Wrestling, how cool was that? To, that was to have that, on? that was cool as crap right there. Now that that, that was awesome. That kicked awesome. that show up. Oh. Uh, yeah, he still got it too. I wouldn't yeah. mess with him. Yeah. Next question. I think no, I think it's already taken off. Uh, yeah, the, the sales have been great so far. It just came out, and um, so yeah, Dad took about you know thirty years to uh, to get that going. And um, nowadays things happen really fast, so uh, which is fortunate uh, that we're able to to do that. And our you know with a with a positive brand, like I said, putting our, our brands on it, it's working. So it was you and Corey who had the idea, not Jason. No, oh, Jace doesn't have many ideas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he might have busted me. Of course I will. Hey, one of our cameramen once told Jace, told me, hey, you got the imagination of a stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> they was arguing about a filming the way to film, you know, and the cameraman was mad at him, you know, because he said, hey, y'all got to shoot this two-foot window, you know. And Jay said, hey, do you realize how hard it is to make a duck get in a two-foot window for you to shoot him? That's what the, you know, hey, you got the imagination of a stick of butter. <laughs> Next question. I think there's three that I know of, unsweet, sweet, and then the peach flavor. I think there's half and half, too. Uh, you got some more? Half and half. Well, like I, I said, think. Hey, you'd have to ask the tea people. <laughs> I just, I just drink it. You're just an unsweetened guy, though. Right? Look, yeah. Hey, the most often question I get asked is, "Tell me, look, you know, as crazy as you are, that can't just be tea, <laughs> okay? It's got to be some alcohol or something in there." And I said, "Well, hey, look, it's got a high octane rating, <laughs> but it is tea." Next question. In the front. Jeff, you were kind of known as the guy who got the, the Duckman DVD series. I mean, you kind of put that together. Is it been yeah. a cool experience working with the network and seeing the kind of scenes work for you on that? Yeah. I actually thought I knew a lot about, you know, camera work and all that kind of stuff because I've done it, you know, most of my life. And uh, But these guys, they're, they're on a different level. And uh, I've learned a lot. I've actually shot a little bit at the beginning. Um, so, but now I'd rather be... By, uh, in front of the camera, I guess, than behind it. <laughs> the crew works really hard for us. We, I mean, they spend long hours. And I picked up one of their cameras one day. They said it weighs like 35 pounds. Like, I was like, that's like carrying a two-year-old on your shoulder all day long. It's really unbelievable. They work really hard, and um, we have a great crew. Tierra Newbaum, University of Texas. What made you guys pick Texas Motor Speedway to have the Duck Commander 500 here? Well, like I said earlier, we, this has been a great area for us, and if I if I had to pick one, this is where it would have been. And we've had, we were actually in discussions uh, maybe for a year or so before, and trying to talk about what this would look like and would this be possible. And um, you know, we 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 were able to pull that off, and uh, and they've been great. I mean, we've had a good time uh, planning this out. So a lot of logistics, a lot of things, moving parts here, and. Uh, but um, but they've been great. So it's and it's this is the closest big city to us. Um, it's actually closer to New Orleans. So Dallas is where we always went growing up. You jump on I twenty and run over to Dallas. So uh, mm -hmm. so it's good to be here. Hey Willie, Mike Cuddle with Revenue Media. You mentioned a truck earlier. I'm on the auto side, not the motorsport side. Do you, do you own one of those? Do you, do you drive one? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, I have a uh, Line X. Uh, put put me one together. Uh, that's um, it's it's a it's a little bit. Of the fancier version, I guess, of the truck. <laughs> over the top. <laughs> so, someone said it was obnoxious, and uh, but uh, I really like it, and uh, it gets through the mud. But uh, uh, but it's so the one uh, for the consumers will be a little bit, you know, scaled down from that. Won't have quite as many lights, I guess, and uh, the the huge tires. But uh, but the whole thing's coated, so it's protected, and uh, it's been great um, uh, getting out in the mud and rolling around in it. Retail. Hmm? The retail truck. Consumers can buy it. The one. Yeah. Well, not the one. Yeah. 
I don't think the I don't think the Willie version, but yeah, there's a retail version. I know you're sponsoring uh, Clint Boyer's car. Yeah. Tell him that he only gets the check if he gets the victory lane. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's a good idea. Maybe I, I wrote him a note on the car, so uh, hopefully he reads that. It just says go fast. So um, <laughs> now that's uh, we, we got. Um, well, since we had Duck Commander already on the on the race, I, I want, there's some other businesses uh, that I want to put on there. So Willie's Duck Diners on the hood. Uh, that's a little restaurant, in West Monroe, and. Um, and then I've got Buck Commander on the sides, our deer hunting company. Now, to be a really smart, good CEO, what you've got to do is you go tell your wife that you just spent this money. I put her company, uh, uh, Duck and Dress, and her clothing store on the back and convinced her that everybody's looking at the back. You know, that that's really where the focus is at. So, uh, so yeah, we've got Duck and Dress and on there as well. So, uh. It looks good. We're proud of it. Next question. You think it before you guys went around the track, who would win? Me. <laughs> He'd be in the wall so fast. Well, uh, look, hey, yeah, I used to be the demolition derby king, son. So hey, you don't want to get on the track with me. There'd be one guy going put the you opposite into the direction. Wall or put you, you in the infield. See, I'd like to support my husband, but I saw him do that lawnmower race, and that was sad. <laughs> I was over there yelling like, "Go faster!" <laughs> I'm not voting for you on this one, babe. Sorry. Ah, yeah. I, no, I'm not a big speed guy. I'd probably say you, actually. Yeah, I can drive fast. I like speed. Next question. I guess the final question would be, can you give us a little insight into next season uh, when you start filming uh, Duck Dynasty, and is there anything we should know that uh, could be an exciting uh, moment coming up? Yeah, it's season? good. Yeah, we've um, we, we started, yeah, we've already started filming, so we're about... Um, six episodes deep so uh yeah the shows are really good and um we uh we kind of went back there's some stuff we went back in the woods and uh some more stuff's getting blown up again and uh chasing the beavers again and yeah there's some uh more family stuff more of the family dynamics too we put more of the family you know dynamics uh in there with our children and uh because uh people you know they relate to that and who are raising teenagers and Jeff has little ones, and so, um, you know, we keep putting that out there, and hopefully people keep watching. I think an owl will be in a little bit more this season. Yeah, my oldest yeah, brother, yeah. The beardless brother. The beardless <laughs> black, white sheep of the family. <laughs> you always talk about family. Uh, welcome to our family. We hope we have a good weekend, uh, whether uh, if it works out for us. And uh, thanks for joining us, and I'm sure everyone would like a quick photo of the group of you in front of the Duck Commander 500 logos. Sure. And then we'll get to our next press conference. Thank you. Thank you.